Ghana's 100-meter record holder, Benjamin Azamati, will race against 200-meter Olympic champion Andre de Grasse, as well as Africa 100-meter silver medalist Simpini Akani at the Bisley Games are to be held in Oslo on Thursday. A joy sports George Adugenia is currently in Norway for the Diamond League meeting and reports. Yeah, so I'm at the Oslo Central Station where a number of top athletes are going to be arriving for the Bislett Games. The Bislett Games to take place in Oslo is a Diamond League meeting, obviously put together uh, by the Bislett Games organization and of course the World Athletics. These are competitions meant for athletes to either gain qualification time for the World Athletics Championships or indeed use it as a warm-up. Also opportunity to make some money, if you, if you will. It's been a long time since Ghana participated in this event. The last time we can think about was Aziz Zakari in 2005. The likes of Leo Miles Mills, yes, the Andrew Wusu, were able to do their best here inside Oslo so far as the Bishop Games is concerned. So for the first time since 2005, we have a Ghanaian who is going to be competing in the Diamond League. It's Benjamin Azabati, the national 100 meters record holder, who has run 9.90 seconds and currently fourth fastest time in the world. He was built to come up against the Olympic champion, Marcel Jacobs, but he is pulled out of the final minute because of injury. His replacement then is the Olympic 200 meters champion, uh, the man Andy DeGrasse, who is also a six time Olympic medalist. That's what is up in store for Benjamin Azamati. Also on the track in 100 meters later, uh, when we go to feel that, we have the young man Reese Prescott from the United Kingdom, who has run 9.93 seconds, and South Africa Africa Simbini Akani, who has also run 9.93 seconds. Remember, he went head to head with the man with the fastest time in 100 meters, Fred Omanyala of Kenya. So this is a special one as we look forward to it. There's so much to come as we're building up. I, I will just tell you, you have to stick and stay with us. We'll be giving you all the rundown, how the players, are, I mean, how the athletes are getting ready, what they're looking forward to. And we're hoping that Benjamin Azamati is able to make some history here. It'll be good news if he's able to be the likes of Andy de Grasse. But more importantly for Azamati, it's also to have a feel of the big stage. You remember the Olympics? Yes, he's told us in an interview he wasn't too good when he I mean, he was not very, very cool in terms of coming up against Johan Blake and the likes. There's an opportunity now for him to go head to head with the big boys and see what his level really is and, of course, what he can do. And joining us via Zoom is the man that you just heard from, George Adugenia, who is in Oslo uh, for the Diamond League meet. Uh, George, it's a pleasure to have you here this evening. Uh, have you seen or spoken to Azamati and what's his mood like ahead of the Games on Thursday? Yeah, I came up, uh, good evening to you, Eric and Popo. Of course, you're doing a good job. I came up the phone uh, just a few few minutes ago. Uh, Azamati is currently on his way to Oslo. He's flying from the United States. And um, he's hoping to do something great here at the Bislet Games. He's, he's done his best. I think he's run three sub tens in terms of the times he's had this season. He, was, he had a very brilliant, brilliant um, indoor season for the 60 meters where he runs 6.54 or 60 meters was really good and then in the outdoor season he ran 9.96 that was the first 9.96 seconds and then after that he ran 9.90 seconds which is currently uh, the fourth best time in the world and then he also ran 9.86 seconds on the night Fred Omanyala ran 9.85 seconds the only problem with his 9.86 seconds was there was an illegal wind of plus three zero and that's why it doesn't count in terms of the records. Other than that, he would have been holding um, the, the, the fastest or the second fastest time in the world at 9.86. So he's ready. He's ready to get going. But this is definitely not an easy stage. He would like to come here and do as much as he can. Uh, there have been Ghanaians before this who participated in the Bislet Games, like um, Dr. Andrew Usu, like Leo Miles Mills, yeah, like Aziz Zachary. Uh, they've all been here. They've tasted it like Eric Nkansa. And he's hoping to come here and, uh, you know, set the records by upsetting the big guns. Well, let, let me touch on what you said. Uh, he's coming in to do as much as he can. Uh, can you weigh in the expectations coming in for Azamati, uh, probably being a bit more specific? Because let's look at the fact that there are the Commonwealth Games to come. Uh, you go and run Browning as well as run, I think, 10.12 seconds. So even if you look at it in terms of form, mm. you will think that Akani and... Um, uh, Benjamin Lazamati have what it takes to go in there. You just cannot predict Andy DeGrasse. If, if, if Benjamin Lazamati is able to 
finish in the top three, that would be absolutely great news. If he's able to win it, that's 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 totally out uh, of, of the imagination. So he's coming here, I think, with the first the first plan to have the experience and, and get a feel, get a level of where he really is when he's going up with the big boys. And of course, I'll tell you here, I'll tell you here, this is more like a breaking news. After this, he's heading to Paris uh, on Saturday for another race. So this will give him a feel of what it is before he goes for the next time on league uh, in Paris. And uh, just before we take leave of you, I asked for what you think as a Matthew would be expecting for himself heading into this. Let me just get a bit of personal opinion from your point of view. Uh, what, what are your expectations of Azamati, not just from this beat, but probably beyond and other Diamond Leagues ahead, plus the Commonwealth and World Championships? It's a crucial time for Azamati here. A lot of onlookers are watching. I mean, you like to turn post soon, and so there are a lot of suitors um, who are looking very closely at this. The higher he finishes in all these races, the Diamond Leagues, you know, the better the chance of getting a massive deal that will help his professional career beyond the World Athletic Championships, beyond the Commonwealth Games, looking beyond the next two, three years where he can become a really global icon. That's what he wants to do. So I expect him uh, to finish in the first three. That's what I'm hoping that can happen. Once that happens, uh, he gets himself a very, very, very good shot at it. But um, as you know, it's athletics, uh, anything is possible. So we'll see what happens on Thursday night. We'll definitely have another good look at um, Azamati when he arrives tomorrow morning, when he goes for his warm-up. And then we'll see him on Thursday night in Oslo where the sun doesn't set. The sun sets at 12 a.m. Mm. and then rises again at 2.30 a.m. because of summer. Wow. Did, did you say 2.30 a.m.? Yes. So, so the sun is on. As, as you speak now, it's, it's, it's almost 11. The sun's up. And it's going to be like this till 12.30 a.m. And then in just about one hour, 30 minutes, it's back up. And that's, that's what they have here. So you've just got two hours. If you want to do the Ghana time thing by sleeping when the sun goes down, you big, big, big trouble here. Well, is that, just a quick one, is that the reason why Azamati is trying to come as late as possible so maybe he's not jet lagged? Because I'm trying to imagine how you could possibly sleep in this. <laughs> yeah, but you have to just go according to the time of the shadow. Uh, Azamati, when he arrives tomorrow, is going to be put into deep sleep. He's really in deep sleep, um, yes. But um, his, his, his coming here has not been his fault. He would have loved to be here today, but he had a, a flight cancellation along the line. And so that's what has really pushed him here. But I think he'll be fine and ready to go. And so we went with the clock here. He went with the time and know that it's late. He's got to sleep and then you have to get up and go. And uh, it's, it's a bit crazy out here, but it's a lovely place to be. All right. Thank you very much, uh, George Adugina, uh, who joined us all the way from Oslo, Norway, ahead of uh, Azamati, who is expected uh, to race uh, in the Bisley meet on Thursday. And as usual, with George being there, you can expect a lot more reports and live reactions on uh, the preparations for the Ghanaian athletes.